got that glove on. Then you slide your elbow back in. Okay, now imagine putting this on in the water. Right. Oh, it's a... Yeah. If, if, when the swim pool's one thing, imagine putting it on in the cold water. Right, when you're freezing out cold. Yeah. I put the gear in the water this afternoon after lunch. After we finish wiring up a few more nav things. Uh, we'll test it, make sure all our links are correct. Uh, we'll get underway two and a half days to uh, Kiska. We'll go right into Kiska by MacArthur Reef, check the currents there, go check the soundings along the, the west side of our search area, which is posted in the chart house there, up shack. And then we'll start a run by some sunken Japanese ships. Hope to pick them up. We'll process those to make sure our system internal procedures work. We'll turn around to the south and go right by MacArthur Reef and start looking for the running. Go on a search plan on a thousand meter line spacing, uh, 2,500 meter swaths. That's 250 meter overlap. That's the plan. Calibration test run. So we're hooking up. This is the depressor. Carter's hooking up the umbilical. It goes to the fish. So first of all, we'll take. Once we're all hooked together here, we'll take the fish. We'll launch it over the side, slowly pay it out until it comes tight right here. We'll lift the depressor up, slowly take a frame out, drop it in the water. This will make the fish sink, and then they'll run the sonar test and make sure that it's, it's calibrating right, it works in all the different ranges, and we're ready to go. Once that's done, we head for Kishka. So, we got Hey, you just throw a sinusoidal hoist, a sinusoidal pulse on them at 30 kilohertz. That's what this sonar is. And, and uh, by having an array, you can do some beam, beam shaping, basically, and make a narrow fan-shaped beam this way. And that's how you just paint your lines off to the side. So that's that. The 60 kilohertz has a lot shorter array because of the higher frequency. The crystals tend to be smaller, but you get the same number of elements in the array. You get the same kind of beam pattern, very narrow fan, just a couple degrees wide. Data's one, I just got a piece of tape where I would, you know, got to stick around and one says nav data ISIS, one just says nav data. Oh, the same I don't know where you want to. Are they the same no, data? It's going to be the same data. We just pulled them off of two cords so that you could. I didn't know where you wanted to put them, so All instead right. of building a jumper, we just took two cords. So I don't know where you want to plug them in at. The back of the ISIS doesn't look like it has any more 232s on it. Yeah, they're, they're in a weird place. Oh, okay. So I have those just hanging over your keyboard okay. uh, for now, so you can plug them in whenever you want. Okay. You know? So cool. everything's looking, looking good from that point of view. Good here. Check the fish here. Yeah, the connection. payout the payout works good. The cable counter, you, 142, we see it perfectly. So okay, at least we know our strings are stringing. Rare. Yeah, our cans. <laughs> we can hear with our cans. Hello. All right. We got the other nut that's up on it. Got that on top or not on top? Not on top. Okay. Is okay. he brought it in the middle? Yeah, he brought it.
Would you mind filming that thing chattering over there? <laughs>